And hello again! Welcome to part uh, 14, is it? And this time we will be making menus and uh, stages, as uh, a lot of you like to call it. I would not be making a advanced, super optimized system to use, but a, um, a simple, easy to use system. Might have some, uh, some silliness and such, but we don't care. Optimization is in the next game or something. Well, uh, let's knock about. Open the game. Example game. It's called 13. Oh, it's kind of creepy. Uh, okay. Make a new folder called the name of your game. It's the name of the game, so let's call it example. Drop everything but the textures file inside like that now we only have textures and example in the root root folder of our game add another folder called uh, states there we go let's get the show on the road and let's make a main.lua file which is going to be the main main file. <laughs> it's going to be the main Lua file for the main Lua file. Creepy. Uh, some of this code is. I uh, <laughs> don't know if you can say stolen, but at least some nifty uh, coders on the Love 2D forum is kind enough to share it, so why not use it? Clear Love callbacks. Uh, the reason why we need this function is because uh, every time we want to change the state from the game we made to a menu, we don't want the game to run in the background or like interfere with the new state that we are going to make. So we're gonna run this clear love callbacks function each time we load a new state of the game. Uh, imagine a state like uh, a scene in a theater. Like the scenes always change with new stuff on the on the scene. Like new furniture and people. That's kind of the same with states in this game. You'll see. I'll show you. So let's uh, reset the draw function. Joy. Yeah, let's have a Joystick pressed, nil. Joystick released, nil. Key pressed, equals nil. Key released, equals nil. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Love uh, load. Don't forget the load. Mouse pressed. Punctuation there. <laughs> Mouse released. Nil. Love update. Nil. And. Okay, let's use a global value. As I said, not so optimized, but uh, just, just do as I say and everything will work. <laughs> Load state. This is going to be the function. That we used to load a new state of the game. <laughs> Function. There we go. So reset the state. Actually, we don't need to put the state table there when we already have the state uh, table uh, set in the load state function. But uh, just to be sure, you never know when the game might need a state. Local path equals states. Silly Skype messaging me in the background. Require. Okay. This require function is going to be. It's going to require uh, the game. Uh, the state. The state main.lua file. So path main. And there we go. Remember, we're on 0 0.8.0 now. 
If you don't got that version installed, go ahead and uh, run over to love2d.org and download it. Because these re require functions won't work unless you have it. Okay, so that's the load state function. Now, let's make the load function for the game and just leave it like that. We don't have anything to do right now that will need to be loaded before any of the states. Function... Love! No, God damn it. <laughs> Love.load. Yeah, that's true. Oh god, I misspoke. Uh, the load function is going to be the load function in so inside our game. I just put it here, or inside state. This is really Inception-ish. It's like a game inside a game. We will need a a, a custom load function. So the normal uh, love.load function will get overwritten. So, there you go. Um, the only thing we're gonna do in this part is load state and the game, which we called... What did we call it now? We called it <laughs> example, I think. Gotta check. So this is going to be the, the string we put in the load state. It's going to be the name of this map here. Uh, yes, because it from this text it makes a path by adding states the folder states slash before the name that we put in load state then requiring that folder uh, and going to the main.load file so it it requires the main.load file inside this folder inside this folder okay okay sorry didn't quite prepare myself for this one uh, okay and of course if you want to just download the rest of these or just copy paste them from the example game all of the rest of these functions here so love dot uh, draw and update and focus key press key release key mouse press key release and love uh, mouse release I mean and love quit uh, just useful to have here in case you want to have something on top of everything um, actually, I want to comment out the load here and copy paste. Yeah, it's already there, so we don't uh, overwrite this load function. I think that's a good idea for now. Just comment that out. Okay, we're done with the main.lua file. Let's uh, get to the proper awesomeness. Open the states example file, which is going to be our game state. The state of the game. Let's uh, uh, let's uh, cut out the config file and the play.bot file. Control X. And paste them in the root folder. There we go. Uh, now the game is going to have a little bit of problems. A little bit of problem problems. Ba 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 ba. It will not know where the entities are anymore, right? Because we had the entities folder in root. Therefore, we need to make sure that he's looking in the right spot. Entities will now be, the object path will now be, states, example. Here we go, entities. That should lead him to the entities folder. Let's uh, do a quick search around here. I had some uh, some comments, some mails of people wanting to uh, they want an explanation of this entity system, and I'll make another video about that uh, probably right after this one. So I'll get to you guys. Don't be afraid. I think we're ready to try out the game now. Just gonna do a quick check of main.lua2. Uh, yes, here we go. Uh, the require function. Uh, I seem to be using 0 0.7.0 with stuff there, so let's change those out in the main.lua file inside the state folder. Just, just put the file names instead of the names with extensions. 
We also need to add the path to the files again. So states example. Just copy paste that states. Yes, good. Uh, oh, of course. Why didn't you guys tell me? Uh, no, you didn't have to tell me. <laughs> good. Okay, we're ready then. As far as I can see. So let's fire it up. Shit! Syntax error. Main 7. Unexpected symbol, you say? Main 7. Unexpected symbol. Is... Oh. That's embarrassing. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I've been coding too much C lately. Sorry, guys. Let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, knaps. Example, attempt to perform arithmetic on xCloud. A nil value, you say. A nil value on xCloud. Nil value. Main 46, then. Xcloud. So you don't know what Xcloud is anymore, you say? Oh! Of course! I nearly forgot this. In the main.lua, remember, we made a new load function. It's not called love.load anymore, because that would overwrite the... Uh, the state management system load function, which we have in main.lua in the root folder. We need to make custom load functions for the state loads. So it will not load this unless we call it just load and not love.load. Because the process will be this. The engine will find this folder, it will open main.lua, and it will search through and load love.load. It will then load load state, which will jump over here and do all this shit. Uh, setting which state to use, and then doing the load function, which we will declare inside the state folder here. So it will go from the load state to load to our state and keep going from there, like we had before without the states system. So here we go, we're back. We're on the road again with the tanks, fancy effects, best fucking effects ever. Oh my god. Best effects. Best. This is crisis. It's crisis stuff. Anyways, uh, let's stop here and let's make a menu next time. Uh, and I will do the, um, the entities table system explanation right now.